Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. In this chapter, we will combine different concepts we have seen so far. I remind you that we have started the chapter talking about web and HTML. We mainly explained what happens at the front end of a web tier architecture. Then I've explained different concepts and principles governing servlets. And also another chapter, I explained GSPs as Java server pages that are used in order to be displayed on the front end, but at the same time that play the role of a HTML, but that can embed Java coding. In this chapter, I will explain how with HTML, with servlets and GSP, we can now, we are able to combine all these elements to develop a simple web application. I will then divide my presentation in two videos. In the first part, I will explain the MVC pattern as one of the most used patterns in web development where we can combine servlet and GSPs. And later on, we will be able to use also GSF but GSF will constitute the uh, content of a upcoming chapter. In the second part, I will explain how we can simply from servlets forward to a simple HTML before explaining a web application containing GSP and servlets all combined in the same application. This first part will contain no database access. But in general, since a web application is um, supposed to have access to a database, the second part of this chapter will may, mainly focus, focus on this point. So how we can access, first of all, and database from Java application and later on how we can access a web application or database from a web application. So this pattern, MVC, which stands for Model View Controller, is a very known pattern that is used to better structure our applications. It is a pattern that is used not only for web applications, but that could be used in many kind of applications. So we have these three components. We have the model, which means the different parts, different methods, different classes, all the components that have to deal with data. The view will constitute everything that has a link with the visual presentation of the data. Everything that should be visualized on the data. So from its name, it will focus on the front end of a web application. The controller will constitute the data input management. So as you can see here, we have in general the user inputs something on its view then the this data this input is sent or is controlled by the controller so the controller at the very basic case, we'll send the result to the view to display the result to the user. Or sometimes the controller may need to have an interaction with the model 
to get data from, for example, database. So this model we sent back the information or data to the controller, and then the controller will send the messages to the view to be displayed. This part we might also be used, but most of the time we are not going to use it. Most of the time we will have this flow of control, as you can see here. So now we are back in our um, web application architecture in which we have the client, we have the web server, and then we have the database. So as you can see from the web browser, the client sends a request through the HTTP request to the web server. Then to have, we have the web container that will contain the servlets. We're gonna have the servlets as the controller. The controller in need will send the request to the model to get some information or data from the database. And then this database will send the information to the controller. Then the controller will send the final result. The controller of course may necessitate to make some computation and then send finally the final result to the view and then the view through the http response will send the information to the web browser or display it to the browser so this mvc these mvc frameworks are partial implementations on which you can build your components you have different frameworks that are available to implement these MVC frameworks. You have the very first one, which is named Struts. Then you have GSF or Java Saver Faces, and you have also Velocity from Apache. The next chapter will concentrate on explaining the Java Saver Faces. Now we will explain how the MVC is implemented using the, the GE architecture. At the first part, we'll see with the servlet and GSP, and later on, we'll see it using GSF. So I use, again, the same architecture in which I have the web browser. The web browser will start with a GSP. It could start also from HTML. Then we will send the HTTP request. The control is supposed to be then a servlet. In need, this servlet will have access to the database using two possibilities, either from a GDBC or from using the EGB server. Then the servlet will, after making computations, will send the result to the GSP and then the GSP through the HTTP response, we'll send the response to the browser. When we will use GSF, simply we will keep the MVC pattern, but then at the front end, the GSP or HTML will be replaced with, X, with XG, XHTML, and then the controller will be what we call in GSF the managed bin. And then after contacting the data or the model through either the EGB server or the GDBC, the, the answer is sent to again in XHTML. So I will start showing you, first of all, how to send, how to forward the control between HTML and servlet before explaining how to forward the control from a servlet to a GSP. So let's imagine I have this very simple application where the starting HTML file is a simple HTML file containing a label and a button. So once I click a button, an HTTP request is sent to the servlet, and then the servlet will send the control to an HTML that will simple, simply uh, uh, visualize or view, this is the called static HTML, okay? In this case, what is important 
from HTML to servlet. We have already studied this through the, the form and the action. Now how to <coughs> send the control from the servlet to the HTML. We have partially already discussed this when we have seen the request dispatcher. So in our servlet, we will define the request dispatcher, but we will define it, it as the fact that we would like to dispatch to this HTML file. And then we forward the call to this HTML file very simply. So to show you an execution of this, here is our application. So we have the index HTML. As you can see, it will simply call my servlet by displaying a label and the submit button. Then I will call the servlet, which will as define only the dispatcher and then the forward to this dispatcher. And finally, if I go to display, very basically it will contain only a simple label. So now if I execute this application, now we are running our server. Here you can see, if I click, I am getting this HTML. So with this very basic example, we have seen how to combine HTML and servlet. So now we are able to see how we can forward from a GSP to servlet. So then I will start here by it's exactly the same pattern. It is MVC. So here we have no M because we have no data access, but I have a view which will give the control to the controller and then the controller will call again, will build a new view that will be sent back to the client. So at the beginning, I have a GSP, it could be also an HTML. So here I am forwarding to a GSP file. This is a label, this is a text field, and then I click on randomize. When I click on randomize, you can see that I have four random numbers. These four random numbers, I am using them just to show you that this is something that could not be done using HTML because it is dynamic and it really necessitates the use of a GSP. How to give the control from a server to a GSP, as you can see here, very simply, I define my dispatcher to this, to this GSP and I forward it. Okay, so this is the beginning. I, this is the label I start with. This is the, my first GSP. I have the text, the text field which, is, which will uh, have a number that I will type, and then I click on this randomize button. Then you can see that in my servlet, what I do, I retrieve this number, and then I create an array list of random numbers uh, and I will have four random numbers according, not four, but number numbers according to the number I have here. So I will create an array list and I will, this array list will con contain number uh, values inside. Every value will be a random value. And then I set I add an, a new attribute in my request which will be will contain a list random list and then I dispatch to my GSP. Now as you can see in my GSP I retrieve this parameter number of course but at the same time I retrieve my array list and then I display these whole elements in my GSP. This could not be done in the HTML, simple HTML, because it necessitates the use of Java coding. So I'm going to show you how this, this is done in 
So again, I have my index GSP as I have explained. Then the GSP will call my servlet, which will have, will build an array list of random numbers. And then my servlet will forward to this um, GSP. I can then execute my program. So uh, here I type some numbers, I click on randomize, and I have these five numbers. I go back to my demo. And then finally, I would like to finish with an exercise that I'm asking you to implement. So this exercise, as you can see, it will be a web application using the GSP servlet GSP workflow, which means it will respects the MVC pattern. So the user types multiple values in the first GSP text field. As you can see, for example, I type two, three dot one, one, etc. These values are supposed to be some meter values. I click on extract and convert, which means I will extract all the numbers in my text field. And then I would like to convert for each one of them the corresponding feet. So for example, I will then show in my final GSP, for example, two meters, which is the first one, equals this feet. Then 3.5 meters will have this value of feet, and then one meter will have this value of feet. So the servlet that will uh, be called after this GSP will split the text field, the content, and converts every value from meter to feet. All feed values are then added to a list. The list is then sent, I'm sorry, this is a small error here, will then be sent to the GSP for displaying. I just reminding you that this is the equation to use for converting from meter to feet. Okay, so we end this first part in which I have explained. I remind you that I have explained here in this first part, how we can combine servlet and GSP using the MVC pattern. We can forward from simply HTML or in case I have, of course, some Java coding, it is necessary then to use GSP and then, I am, uh, and then how I'm, I'm able to combine between all these elements. In the next chapter, I will use, I will talk about the access to database. Thank you very much and see you in the next part.